start now. Yeah, hi Sarah. This I'm here to present the video for uh, ASIC versus City Group, and we are three members presenting Ankur, Poojitha, and uh, Rajesh. And uh, uh, initially to start with, I'm, I'm going to start the conclusion, and the middle part will be taken by Ankur, and uh, Rajesh will be concluding it. And uh, initially uh, to start, ASIC versus City Group. Uh, City Group. Uh, like it has been uh, ASIC, uh, ASIC has released a file against complaint against city group as it has taken the third party uh, third party trading which is illegal and and it has it has faced a file against it uh, because as it is illegal to take the third party trading and the claims in this are it is it is illegal uh, and it is not like uh, yeah. yeah and the next part will be concluded by uh, yeah. Hi Sarah, uh, we are presenting on the case which is a 2007 city versus SIC case uh, in this case uh, city group was alleged that uh, they were involved into third party, uh, sorry, uh, insider trading with the Patrick's company as the city group was acting as an agent with the toll company and they were going to take over the uh, bid with the, in the Patrick's company and the city group was the shareholder in that company which falls into, which falls city group into such a position that uh, they were involved in the uh, insider trading. So the first claim by the ASIC was uh, that uh, they, are <coughs> they are involved into the insider trading Second, uh, they didn't uh, follow the, all the procedures which was supposed to be done to manage uh, to pro to uh, to stop this uh, uh, such a deceptive nature. And uh, the other one was uh, that uh, they have broken the fiduciary uh, law and uh, fiduciary duty with the toll. So, and uh, but my client, uh, City Group, have came out clean because uh, uh, they followed all the procedures which were supposed to be taken. And there was no such a uh, uh, trading was done as they had took all the in, all the uh, necessary steps to avoid this. Uh, for example, uh, it's uh, in in case of uh, avoiding all these situations, uh, usually banks come up with uh, separate departments, strong compliance, uh, uh, strong compliance, and uh, a proper education and the and the, uh, corrective action at the necessary time which was supposed to be taken, which my client, the city group, has had taken it, which uh, which court has found. And uh, so which because of that, the, court, the ASIC's claim uh, was struck down by the court uh, in, in that case. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, my, my friend would like to conclude on it. Um, the court decision came up uh, when the court said that there, there, there was never a uh, a fiduciary uh, relationship existed between the city group and the toll. So, uh, and first there was the first claim. Second was the, the city group had ad adequate ad arrangements yeah. in place to manage conflicts, uh, which was a conflict of interest between the uh, uh, city groups and being an ad working at a, as an agent to toll and also to for the uh, holding the shares for the factory, which was going to be taken over by the toll. So the uh, so the city group used all the uh, special so all the uh, uh, necessary steps, which was uh, so when when uh, to because there, there's, there are two kinds of things. So when you have there's a private side of information which is uh, not supposed to be uh, leaked outside the when the when such, such a merging or takeover is going on. So that, uh, the city group uh, took all the necessary steps for uh, for the uh, to avoid the breach of Chinese wall, which is called the which is the information wall. Um, also. The other claim was that uh, it, uh, in, that uh, City Group is involved in the, into the insider trading, but uh, court to, the ASIC was not was unable to prove in the court that uh, uh, any such uh, any such activity took place because or uh, by the City Group. Uh, the other one was that uh, City Group uh, uh, conduct was uh, misleading and deceptive, uh, but uh, according to the find court findings. Citigroup was under no obligation uh, to uh, 
to tell to to, to pass on the information to the to the to the toll or the toll uh, toll regarding their if they are trading with Ethereum packets or not or they have holding any shares. Also, there was no findings regarding the in regarding the case that uh, City Group intentionally uh, reduced the prices of the shares or they kept it low so that uh, toll uh, will end up paying more or less. So any sort of in, in any such insider trading takes place. So that was like all the court findings and, and the analysis of what was done.